Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you acrylic tutorial using Artisha's R2 set of brushes. First one is the Mix Plus Size Synthetic Hair Brushes. This set has four different types of large brushes. They are flat brush, angular brush, full bell brush, and dagger brush. You can use these brushes for bigger paintings, wall paintings, mural, abstract, and a lot more. They will come in the size 20. The second set is the Artisha's Art Round Plus Size Synthetic Hair Brushes. There are four round brushes of different sizes in the set. Their sizes are 14, 16, 18, and 20. Both the set of brushes are suitable for all mediums, and also I will be using Artisha's Art Canvas Pad. So let's get into the video. So first I'm starting with the background by adding a base layer. This will help me to get a perfect blurred background. I'm just adding the color roughly because I will add one more layer over it. After adding the base, I'm just adding one more layer over this area because there is a lot of shades over here. It will not be easy adding that using large size brush, so I'm using round brush for that. After adding the shades, I am using this filbert brush to blend and to add that round light that is in the blood background. There is a lot of styles in acrylic painting. You can choose the style you like the most or you can paint it in your own style but the methods will be different. You can add many layers until you are satisfied with the results. It is not easy to do such blood backgrounds because the paint dries too fast. You won't even get enough time to blend. So try adding layer over layer, it will give you good results. So now the background is completed, so now let's paint the Macau. As you can see, it is easy to paint the feathers and it is important to observe the directions of the feathers while you are painting. As you can see, I am using a big round brush to do the details. It is really easy because this brush has a pointed tip. There is a lot of methods in acrylic, you can follow any method that you are comfortable with. One more thing that is you should not add too much water in the acrylic paint. For painting the beak, I am applying black color first and after that I used white color to do the details. You can make a painting in the acrylic medium very fast. But in oil medium, it will take you days or even months to make your painting because the paint takes a lot of time to dry. For shading the larger feather, I am also using filbert brush. So now I am painting the yellow feathers the same way. I am adding more layers to cover that pencil marks. After adding the shadows and the details, I am painting the blue feathers. So as usual, first I added the base and then I started painting the feathers. I mixed white color to paint the lighter areas. Same way I painted the wood. For that, I first added a base, I painted the shadows and added the texture. So now it's time for some final touch-ups. Finally, the painting is completed. So I hope this video was helpful to you all. So see you guys. Goodbye.